Hello, my wonderful first and second graders. It's time for another music class. I hope you're ready. Um, as you know, I'm going to sing Ola first, and we're going to have a short devotion. You will need um, a piece of paper and a pencil for this lesson, not for very long, for only like a minute or so. It's the only time that you'll need anything. Otherwise, the rest I'll, I'll be telling you what we're going to do today. I got something special to show you. But let's get started with Ola first, okay? So let's sing. <laughs> just helps to warm up your singing voice a little bit. All right, well, I am gonna warn you that my dog Lassie is just really um, very frisky tonight, right? Do you wanna come say hello? Do you wanna come say hello? Maybe she's just gonna be down here. So you might be hearing her during the lesson today. She already slept this afternoon, so I guess she's just ready to do some singing. But let's start with our devotion first, which is called Joseph's Coat of Many Colors. Joseph's father gave him a beautiful coat of many colors. His brothers were very jealous. Then Joseph told them of his dream. They would one day bow down before him. His brothers were very angry. All the unkind things that Joseph's brothers did started with a jealous heart. Jealousy is not a good thing, according to the Bible. We are to be content with what God has given us. Sometimes people do things we can't do. They get things we wish we had. In those moments, we must be careful that we don't become jealous or envious. Don't let jealousy or envy make its way into your heart. Be content with all that God has given you. And so now we're going to have our very short scripture verse, which is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 26. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. And a very short prayer. Lord, teach me to be content with what you have given me. Amen. So just want to remind you not to be jealous. People are going to have things that we don't have. Maybe we want them, but it's maybe mom or dad can't afford it, or maybe it's something they just don't want you to have at this time. Whatever the case may be, we do need to be content. But you know, the other thing with this story is that you know, sometimes we show favoritism to others, like jo Joseph's father did that, gave him this beautiful coat, and his brothers were very jealous. We have to remember not to do that also, that we're going to show God's love to everybody equally. Then we're going to treat everybody fairly. We all know we don't like to be treated unfairly, so we have to remember to keep that in our heart. Don't let that jealousy worm its way into your heart, all right? Just remember that for today, our, our little short devotion. Now I'm going to play a song for you, and it's very short, and it's about uh, the many colors of Joseph's coat. Like I say, it's really short, so I'm going to play it for you right now, and I just want you to listen. There's even a very short part that you get to sing along with. Many colors. This is it. Sing that now. Many colors, many colors. Joseph had a coat of many colors. Now we're gonna listen. Joseph had a dream, a very special dream. When he told it to his brothers, they hated him. Joseph had a dream, a very special dream. Tell 
Let's not let that jealousy get into our heart. All right, well now, something special. I have a special instrument to show to you today and I'm going to talk about it. And right here, take a look at what I have. This is called a flute. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off, I am really not a flute player. My daughter, Jenny, when she was in grade school, I think she started around fifth grade, when she was in grade school and high school, she played the flute. She was in a band, she was in a marching band, and she had a great time. It's always good to know how to play an instrument. So I'm gonna talk about this instrument right now. Just so you know, it does come apart in three parts, but I'm gonna take one part off right now. And this is the mouthpiece right here. And the flute is really special among any of the instruments that you blow into because you don't blow into the flute, you blow over the hole. If I blow into this hole, I really don't get much of a sound, but if I blow over the hole, that's the sound I'm going to get. I have to blow air over it and the flute requires more air than any other instrument that you have to blow into. This is actually one of the woodwind instruments. So flutes and clarinets, yeah, oboes, they're all woodwind instruments. So now I bet you're gonna wonder, well, I could just sit here all day and that's the only sound I'm going to get. Now, when I put the flute together and line it up just right, you will see that there's something called keys right here. These are keys. And you have to know which one of these that you have to put your fingers down on in order to change the sound. Because remember I said you're blowing air over the flute, but I just gave you that one sound. Now when I put my fingers on these keys and you have to know which keys to blow into, and remember I have to blow over, and it's, it, it's not the easiest thing to do, you gotta practice. That's how I'm going to get a sound. I'm gonna change the sound to play anything on the flute. These are called keys. Now, where does the sound come out of? Ah, the end of the instrument. That's where it's going to come out, right there. So, I'll put my fingers on those keys again there you go well now the only other thing I have to tell you is that a flute this particular flute uh, that you would hear in an orchestra or band is made out of metal there are some flutes that are made out of wood or plastic but you're not going to, they're not going to be loud enough to be heard in a band or an orchestra. So these are made out of metal. Most flutes are silver in color. There are some gold flutes that cost a little bit more money, but most flutes are going to be silver in color. Now, the other thing that I have to tell you about is I, this is a flute. There's also something called a piccolo. And piccolo is about, oh, about half the size of a flute. And I do have a picture in one of my books that I'm going to show you after I put my, after I put my flute down. I'm gonna show you a picture right here. First of all, I'll show you this boy at the top of the page is playing the flute. You can see how he's gotta blow over the hole right here, over the mouthpiece and his hands are going to be changing the keys in order to change the sound. Now down here you see a boy playing something called a piccolo. You can see it's so much smaller than a flute, so it's going to have a higher sound. Piccolos are going to have a higher sound. The smaller the instrument, the higher the sound. The larger the instrument, the lower the sound. We're going to hear um, a song right now called Arabian Dance, where you're going to hear featuring our flutes. But I do want to tell you, this is where you're going to need your paper 
and pencil, all right? So I want you to get your paper and pencil out right now because I, while you're listening to this music, see if you can draw a flute. Ah, do you remember what it looked like? I showed you my instrument before, I'll tell you what. How about if I show it to you while you're hearing this music? Oh, here comes Lassie. I know, she's just real feisty and frisky tonight, aren't you, baby, huh? She just wants to be part of the action, and it's really hard to keep her still. If I put her, if I lock her up in a room, all she does is bark and scratch at the door, and so I just got to let her down. Okay, Lassie, you're going to have to get down because I have to hold the food in just a second, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this song called Arabian Dance ready. I'm going to hold my flute, and let's see if you can draw, and you're going to hear the piccolos in here too. They're really high. See if you can draw a flute. drawing coming. If you finished, just sit and listen to the music for a few moments. I'll just keep turning my flute around so you can see it from different angles. I hope you had a chance where you could draw a flute. And let me just tell you one more thing about the piccolo. Remember I said the piccolo is much smaller than a flute, probably about this size right here. But a lot of times you're going to see on a piccolo that it's going to have some black wood right down here. And that's called ebony. It's a different a kind of wood, very dark. Not all piccolos will have that, but a lot of them do. So a piccolo is going to sound higher the flute is a high sounding instrument, but the piccolo is going to sound even higher. Now let me show you, that's really cool. Like I said, the flute comes apart in three pieces. There we go. And I'll get this piece off. And then what's really cool is they're going to fit in a case. And what I what I like about the flute is that it's it's so small enough, it can fit in a backpack. That would be pretty cool that you, you would be able to take that flute uh, to school if you're in a band or an orchestra and it fits right in your backpack or your bag or whatever. And here we go, fits right in the case. Close it up, so easy. And then you could, you could be part of an orchestra or of a band too. That would be really cool. Maybe you'll get a chance to play one someday. I certainly hope so. All right, well, that's about our flute, but I've got another, a couple more songs that I want to share with you about uh, that features our flute. And the first song that I'm gonna share with you is called Down by the Station. And uh, it's a short little song, and it talks about puffer bellies. 
And puffer bellies are trains. Trains need a lot of air. Those steam trains, steam engine trains, they needed a lot of air in order to go. And like I said, the flute also needs the, in the most air of any of the woodwind instruments. You've got to have really good support and a lot of air to produce that sound. So we're going to hear this short little song. Uh, I am going to hold the words up because, like I say, it is a short song. So I think you can you can uh, follow along as I play the song. I'll probably play it a couple of times. And here's here it is, Down by the Station. Features our flutes. Into those flutes. See the ancient driver pull the little hand on oh, choo 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 off they go. Play it again one more time. Oh, make sure I get the right song there. All right, so here we go. One more time, down by the station, listen for those flutes and sing along. imagine that you are trying to sing along with that. Well, that's the song that features our flutes. And we're going to have one more song that features our flutes. And it's called The Animal Parade. So I'm going to get my music ready here. You're also going to get to see the words. And you're going to get to see the music for this as well. All right. So this is called The Animal Parade. Get it ready here. And I will get the right song. I don't want to play the wrong song for you. And again, this features our flutes. Look at verse one. Hippity hop hop. Hippity hop. pause it for just a second and talk about this. This is a song that we call a cumulative song because now we're going to add another animal. We're going to start with verse 2 uh, and then we're going to go back and add one of the animals at the very end. Listen to how it works. Again, cumulative, we just keep on adding something else. So here we go. We're going to start with verse 2. Number two. Lippity-hop-hop, 
the rabbits. All right, now we go to verse 3. good imagination so I think you were at least trying all right well I'm pretty sure that you were probably sitting down for a little while so how about if you stand up stand upright now and follow the directions in my song and I want to sing my song say to the Lord I love you all right so I might ask you to touch your hands to your nose or your toes. Oh, you're just going to have to listen to the directions, all right? And feel free to sing along. I love it when people sing along with me. And here we go. Touch your fingers to your nose. Bend from your waist way down and touch your toes. And when you come up slowly, start to sing and say to the Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you. Say to the Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you. Say to the Lord. Look to your left, your right, then blink your eyes, and when you turn around, you'll start to sing and say to the Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you, say to the Lord.
great imagination. So I can imagine that you were singing along with me. No, stay standing because I've got one more song for you. And if you were in my music class last year, you will remember this song. It's just a fun song and it's called, Oh, oh Monkey in My Trash Can. Oh, so if you stand up, I'm gonna show you exactly which actions to do, all right? So here we go. Hey, look, there's my cousin Philippe. What's up, Philippe? Oh, here I am so upset about the monkey. The monkey, the monkey, the monkey keeps me up all night with the noise. see no monkey do it means if somebody's doing something not the right thing like little lassie right now don't follow that person okay well we sure did a lot today and lassie was trying to sing and get right into the picture as she usually does all right we're going to sing a song today at the end called Adios Amigos. And it's a goodbye song and it just goes like this. Adios amigos, adios my friends, hasta la vista, I'll see you again. La 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 ole! I'm going to do it one more time. You're going to learn it. It goes like this. Adios, amigos. Adios, my friends. Hasta la vista. I'll see you again. La, 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 So, my friends, stay safe, stay healthy. God's blessings to you until we meet again. Goodbye.